I'm honestly nervous as well. I'm honestly, I'm either I'm hard as fuck. I'm also nervous. It's a big mix. I don't even know. I, I can't make up my emotions yet. It's just it's just coming through. There's no uh, bias from the commentary team, but my channel points might be on Pong Guard right now. They, they, they might be on Pong Guard. I, I, you know, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. So we have both teams lining up here, getting ready to go. Um, do you think I should put in-game sound on or just keep my background music? I'm just going to keep my background music, I think. I'm not going to put on that in-game sound. Uh, easy to commentate that way. So no Artie on either, either side of the lot. Artie is an automatic disqualification. Both teams are aware of that. Also, Keshigs and Falconetis are confirmed banned. Um, they will not be able to bring that. The unit composition on both sides looking interesting. A um, couple of Claymores here and there. Four Classic, four Brachios and Pikes. Uh, we'll have to see what the strat looks like and see what happens. Seeing uh, some Tercios on the uh, Holy Crusader side here. I am mm -hmm. seeing some Tercios. I'm not very sure that's the play. Well, let's have to see. Yeah, uh, and Sanji's. I mean, Sanji's worked well in some of the strats this morning and this afternoon. So, gonna have to I see. I Sanji's being a play, but yeah, gonna have to see how it plays out here for the Sanji's. I'm not really a fan of guns, period. Uh, <laughs> and any, of my, I have, I've lost one fight this season, and I never used guns. Uh, that is. I was going to say, I've never heard an American say such a thing. Yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Very good. Very good. <laughs> nicely done. Man. Nicely done. Oh. <laughs> uh, Adam, is that hitting you? Everyone with the good luck, have fun. We'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. Ooh, I'm ready. Yeah, that's 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 looking like a really stacked squad of point guard, not going to lie. Just it's, a, names. it's a nice <laughs> squad. It's a nice squad indeed. All right, let's go ahead and put some sound, a little bit of in-game sound on. I'm going to go out and zoom out real quick. So we got both teams lining up here. Tab left is looking already decently pressured. Um, by Pongard here. Um, it looks like Holy Crusaders are in position already. A um, couple guys staying central. The rest of them look like they're setting up on central here. Um, looks like it's going to be a 5v8 going into tab left. They're rolling for a ladder rush right away. Um, with no Artie able to set up, the ladder, the bridge strat is a full uh, capable strat, especially with no Artie being allowed to be placed down by either team members. So it'll be on them to kind of hold this and make sure they can anti ladders, but they're not going to be able to. It should be a nice size push for... Looks like one already died... Patrick the first gets wiped out instantly. It looks like another one got wiped out as well. Catastrophe also taking out Dealer for life. Surprising. It's instantly, instantly, instantly anti Honestly, I probably would have gone uh, Central Gate here and just pressured that way since they can put down already instead of climbing ladders into them. Um, Central's going to be anti for a long time. They're not pressuring Central. They're all tab left. Uh, we'll have to see what works out here. Uh, they're going for bridge right away here, but it looks like it's going to take a... They're actually putting up a decent fight here. Um... Yeah, they're definitely playing with a decent fight here. Bigger Apple actually going in their back lines, wiping out some of their units back there. Uh, let's go in for a closer look real quick if I can. Uh, not that that way. There we go. There they we seem go. to be pushing across. We're pretty much free right now. They kind of wiped them at this point. Yeah, yeah they are going to get it. surprised they're dying as well with the, the point there. You don't want to kind of die too quickly and get yourself that extra spawn time. You know, they're going for the full Zerg to B. Once you take B, um, they're giving themselves extra time to set up since they can't drop any Arty. If they look at their at towers anti, this is actually a really nice strat, I think, by PG. I think I would have done the same exact thing here. Um, the response by Holy Crusaders, I think, is questionable. Um, uh, they were doing good, good there oh, for a second. A Shinji set here. But it looks like they're about to lose a shit ton of units right here. A nice snowball effect is going on here. I, if I had to guess, this is Max Shot, Max shot calling this for uh, PG. And he's definitely making a play. A nice charge Treb right there. They are backing up perfectly coordinated. A very healthy coordination strike right there. Should do some damage. They do back up slightly, but it's just not enough, ladies and gentlemen. It's just not enough. SK in the back line doing pike things. It's classic pike things by SK. He's a he's kind of like a wild card. You just don't know what he's going to do. Honestly. Honestly, he's a freaking danger to society. Uh, he's just a menace, dude. He's just a menace. Uh, Holy Crusader is making a big play here. We got we got Fulgrim kind of responding, but not really. Um, a trying to be sal they're trying to recycle back to A. Um, it looks like Holy Crusader is cut off between C and A at this point. They will have to have guys on C to watch the rush, but also got their maybe they'll just give A at this point. If I had to guess, it they would give like A. It seems like they're gonna, giving A right now. They're retreating. Oh yeah, dude, I would give A here. I mean, what, that's the thing. Once you take B, C is now at risk. And do you really want to deal with Trebs on the wall? If you want to play, they're gonna take a conservative approach. You have to understand PG is a very heavyweight team. Um, they're not going to play aggressive against them. They're going to try to play as smart as possible and as conservative as possible. Take their kills where they can't snipe them off as much as possible. So that way when they're fighting for C and home point, um, they have time and they're going to have uh, a decent defense strategy and still have unit, co unit comp to able to handle to respond to them. Um, as of yeah, right now... Normally on CB, you do, you'd be setting up this, the mortars and all of that, but obviously with nothing like that, it's all yeah. about the, the movement of your units and it's, stuff back and forward now between this point. This is going to come down to also a straight skill game. Um, no catchings in the fight at all. 
Um, so it's going to come down to uh, no Falcos either. So they really, defenders are really kind of hindered here. Attackers are slightly hindered with the Keshe gloss and not having Falcos as well. But the the, t the, the team disparity and, and skill level is kind of high here at this point in time. Also, the unit comp is uh, very is pretty much on par, I would say. But the actual unit count, um, only 60 units lost by PG so far and 259 lost by holy crusaders it's not looking good for them but they could come back for this so they could make one good one big play one big clear and it's and it's back on it's back to even um c is definitely a holdable point on this part of the map uh it looks like pg is really taking their time cycling units really just waiting for towers to land get in position make sure they're ready they realize they got 12 minutes on the clock so they're going to burn some time probably push the next two minutes if i had to assume they're definitely playing it smart also playing conservative i, I had to guess honestly i yeah i think that was the best play they did give a I'm, I'm a big fan of snowballing and pushing hard and, and making and going with momentum and hype. But like when you're when you have a defense when you have a team that's going back full defense, units comp is still there. Um, you're not gonna want to just int into that. They're gonna take their time. Five dollar USD bounty on Sig, by the way, for anyone that's wondering. Uh, they do have two sets of Liao's out on the Holy Crusader team. I don't know what the play is there. Maybe. You know, uh, I, I I can't speak on Liao's too much. They have been nerfed pretty hard but i do see once in a blue moon some decently rare uh liao plays but with the keshik's out of the picture i guess they're trying to have some cab response some nascar cab in the city um both teams have a lot of players that are familiar with the term nascar cab so we'll have to see how that plays out for them how that works out um not a lot of action so far it looks like everyone's just hanging out sipping some tea maybe it's lunchtime i mean can we get a confirmation of that one is it lunchtime right now man it's actually dinner time, but they're all on. They're all pushing opposite side of supply right now, down the stairs at this exact point. Yeah, I see that. I see pushing that. Pushing both staircases. Yeah, they're going oh, yeah, for a hard. Both staircases to split it. It looks yeah, like they're they're evenly split right now. It looks like uh, they're gonna do a hard tab with death ball here. Go for the full death ball effect. And pikes claymores mixed in for the damage reduction. It's a good strat. Tercios being brought in by takedown. I've never seen takedown use tercios in my life, but I trust takedown with my life, so I'm willing to see what he can do. He can make something happen here. Um, a couple hey, of units still set up on supply. Anyway, very set up right now in supply. Um, they are not really responding to C well at all. They're looking for a flank, but obviously PG is smarter than that. And are going to be have anti on the flank, which they already have PGs waiting there. And Claymore is mixed in for damage reduction prop purposes. So those those Leons will not be able to respond here. Um, it looks like there is a light engagement here. I'm going to zoom in on this real quick. Very light, very nice engagement right there by PG. Uh, it's definitely going to be a hard seat take for PG here at this rate. Um, unless, unless, oh, oh, unless Holy Crusaders gets that on the star flank off that they're going for right now. But they have four blockers watching the back line. They have well planned this out. The Hussars cannot respond right now. They are trying to cycle around right now, but there's just no real, I mean, they're encircling PG right now. The Holy Crusaders could make a play here, ladies and gentlemen. It could be cleared. There could be a decent clear. An interesting trap strike right there. That could be positive. That could be negative. It's going to hit. Um, PG trying to respond with Badaz. Their guys on tab off. They're too, they need to rotate one guy off and keep one guy to watch the back line. There's too many, two guys is too many there. They need to get some guys on C to win the exchange here. They need to land some trebs. Unfortunately, with no RDB in the place down, so it's just be a great shot opportunity right here, but obviously you can't put any RDB down the fight. So it's going to come down to scale. It's going to come down to units here. Um, they are making the response. There comes Sledgemate coming in hot with PG. They're going to go full rotation straight to central. Not even leaving a guy back on the line. They're going for full in here. They are committing here. Take down with his turns in the back. I'm not really sure if that's the play, but uh, we'll have to see how that works out. Where is he? I don't even see him on the. I don't even see him, ladies and gentlemen. There he is. Uh, we'll have to see how that works out for takedown. Uh, see, I, I, it's definitely going to go. See, will go. The exchange is being decisively won by PG at this point in time. Three short swords being played out. A lot on supply point right now for. They are anti supply as well. PG making a good play. Body blocking supply. Mr. fucking Billy D. He's wearing his pizza outfit right now, ladies and gentlemen. Literally wearing his pizza outfit. Making a play happen. Body blocking supply. Totally Crusaders right now is in a deep shit. They cannot pull on that supply. Ashley coming to support. Pie and flanking in as well. C going for free at this point in time. Holy Crusaders is being routed, ladies and gentlemen. It is not looking good for them at all. Honestly. It is not looking good. Kai's gonna say in the chat. It, it's not looking good at all for them. It is. They have 11 oh, minutes on the idiot. clock. 200 unit difference as well in this already. It's a unit difference. Yeah, it's a colossal. Absolutely, it, it's a colossal difference right now. It, it, it's not looking good at all for Holy Crusaders. Like I said, um. 
Holy Crusaders is definitely the underdog of the fight. They're fighting their hearts out, but PG is a very heavyweight team, and they know the map. They know the map like the back of their hands they planned. They know they have good coordination. Look at them all masked up together, sticking as a team. Nobody's left out to dry. No one's spaced out. Holy Crusaders trying to make their last stand, their last response here. Uh, let's go on for a closer look real quick. Gerald Yuki hidden, scouting them out, giving calls back to Maximus, because Maximus is probably in the fight. He is in the fight, so there is no overview for them, obviously. So Matt, Yuki is scouting it out for Maximus, waiting for the call to see the strat that's going to be played. Maybe they're going to go for a 7-8 central and tab right strat, or maybe they just go for a full death ball like they've been doing. The death ball has been very successful for them, so this could be this could be, this could could be be uh, the dub right now. This could be the dub right now. Look at them making a play right now. You see them all coming in on tab right. Uh, tab left is also being reacted to, but they have nothing to really stop this tab right push. The have all their infantry off the point and towards the tab yeah, Really, I'm, I'm not really sure why they're so far back. They're playing kind of questionable at this point in time. Uh, they're looking for a flanking play, um, but unless they stop that death ball, it's over. They're just going to have to tra exchange on the point and uh, hope for the best. But they really big, are kind of big. Big, for big in the back of all their units. Huge trap. A lot of tunnel vision going on for Holy Crusaders right now. It is. They, they need to. They need to make something happen here. Um, it is not. They're just going to get trapped to fucking shit there at that rate. There's just not much they can do there. There's not much they can do there at all. Um, yeah, I'm not gonna lie. This is well, I, I give this a minute. A decent job there because they're avoiding the actual traps and stuff just now. But Indeed. I don't think that'll last long. Uh, it's it's looking very decisive here, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, Holy Crusaders does come in with a flank. Make a play happen, do they? Let's see. Those are that's a decent charge. It's not bad. Rep gets slammed by Asmetry gets slammed, but Asmetry's down. Bigger Apple making that surprising play. Another flank coming in by Holy Crusaders. PG is not responding to it. They're not ready for it. Holy Crusaders wiping out them right now. We can see it's still pretty even right now. Holy Crusaders is making a play, coming back from the grave here, making a decent response, coming in with infantry as well, charging in pikes, making things happen. It could be a recovery here for them. They could make something happen here. Uh, the unit comp, uh, uh, the unit count is definitely uh, says different. The unit count absolutely says I different. I was going to say the same uh, thing. The, the unit count definitely doesn't say it though. Charges came in, but they charged directly into Modao. It seems like. The it was definitely a wipe on PG's side. Yeah, the unit count is definitely uh, looking rough right now. Um, it's it's a matter of time at this point in time, ladies and gentlemen. It's a matter of time. Uh, we'll have to see. We'll have to see. They already have two full sets of Moda on point. Iron Reaper. Uh, eight flight. minutes. Yeah, and eight minutes. It doesn't, <laughs> it doesn't take eight minutes for this now. Dealer had a good five hero kills, I think I'd say, in, the, in that whole time that they were getting wiped. Yeah. Picked it up for the team. Uh, Adam Zay is trying to make a final play here. It, it is very much over. Unfortunately, they can try to respond here, but it's just not going to be enough at this point in time. It's a little late on the response team by Bjorn Wolf and, uh, and Adam Zay. They are responding to it. A couple body blockers, but eight-minute timer. It's just not enough, ladies and gentlemen. Holy Crusaders, big respect for them. They put up a hard fight. They've tried their hearts out. They really tried to make things happen, but unfortunately, it just wasn't enough for them. Um, it's about to be capped here probably within the next 20 seconds. Very nice very nice try by Holy Crusaders, but... Um, it's uh, it's quite clear to be uh, PG Victor here. I think and there the it big is. part with that home point is they just weren't set up on home. They set up on the tab left side. They uh, they definitely set up in a questionable area there. Um, yeah, yeah, very questionable. What are your thoughts, guys? Mark, what are your thoughts, man, on this first fight? It was it was quick. It didn't seem like there was enough time for a response. And to be fair, it was it was pretty pretty well coordinated from Pongar's side. Um, obviously, any experience shows there on the the side of uh, Crusaders, just with uh, positioning and where they should be placed and stuff. I think is definitely the difference with that game. Um, yeah. A few things with Hussars and stuff with the Badawas nowadays not being banned and obviously being part of it. It's hard to do any flanking with them around, so really difficult position. Yeah. They they were in at that point. So. Yep, and uh, you know, look at the look at the scoreboard right now. It's definitely what I kind of expected. Um, as you can see, this, the, the response by uh, Holy Crusaders in terms of unit kills compared to um, PG is just uh, is a big, there's a large margin of difference here. Um, a lot of very, very heavyweight players for PG. Uh, Holy Crusaders did put up, a, 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 I think, a respectable hold for a little bit there. I think they definitely needed to respond to B there way better than they did. 